Hey guys, it's Aislinn. So, today's video is a lot different. It's a hair dyeing video, but it's last minute. So tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and I'm going out to a club with a whole bunch of friends. And I dyed a wig, so that way I can wear the wig because obviously my rainbow hair is faded and it just doesn't look very nice, so I didn't want to wear my hair. So I tried on the rainbow wig, and I really was hoping it would glow in the dark. And only the pink color on the wig was glowing in the dark. And so I was a little disappointed and I was like, you know what, I should just dye my hair. I want to freshen up my hair. I'm not gonna bleach my roots. I'm just gonna put like pastel shades just over these ones just to make them more neon and they glow in the dark. So I have pre-mixed up colors. I'm not gonna tell you what I pre-mixed up because I just grabbed a whole bunch of different stuff mainly arctic fox and lunar tides those were the only two dyes that i used i wanted to make sure that these were going to glow in the dark before i applied them to my hair so i checked and they don't only like one or two colors glow in the dark that's not okay i wanted all six colors to glow in the dark so then i'm thinking how can i make this possible and then i remembered all of my neon eyeshadow that glows in the dark so what i'm gonna do is I have a whole bunch of leftover neon eyeshadow in the vials. I'm going to dump a lot of neon eyeshadow into each color and mix it around and see what that does. I don't know, it could turn it into like flower dough. I don't know what I'm doing. If you don't know what pigments I'm talking about, they are the Makeup and Murder Neon Eyeshadow Pigments. I wear them on my eyes all the time. They all glow in the dark and are UV neon pigments. I have every color that I need to dye my hair rainbow. So it's gonna work out good. I'm gonna probably add the rest of these. I have like half a bottle of every color left. I'm gonna take you along and we're gonna try this together. Also, I don't know if putting these colors over colors that don't glow in the dark are gonna make a difference. I don't know, I'm just experimenting and honestly anything is better than what I have now. It's not damaging, it's still conditioning and I'm still giving my hair a break. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me go to my vlogging camera. I'll turn on the black light and show you guys what these colors look like right now before I add the pigments in. And then I'm gonna add the pigments in with the black light on so that way I can gauge how much they're glowing in the dark if I need more pigment or less. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my vlogging camera and it's gonna be dark and we're gonna go ahead and add pigment. So this is my hair currently. So I just wanna enhance these colors a little bit more and make them glow in the dark even more and be able to see defined colors. So I'm just gonna glaze over everything with like a light glaze. As you can see, I have neon pigments on my hand right now and they glow in the dark, amazing. So here are the colors we have mixed up. Um, this yellow, is the only one that glows. This pink is the exact color that I dyed my wig with, so I know that it'll glow in the dark once it's on hair. <laughs> They're like glowing. The purple doesn't really glow in the dark that much, but we're still gonna give it a wing. A wing and a whirl. So we got our pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. We're gonna add in the pigments. Whoa. <laughs> that looks crazy. It looks like lava in the camera. I know, it looks so cool. All right. In oh, that is crazy. It's working so freaking well. Are you serious? That is working so good. <gasps> Bro. I can't believe how good this That's is crazy. working. It looks okay, so good. So there's the pink. Probably don't need to be adding this much. Oh my God. This is working. I'm curious to know once we turn the lights on if it affected the color at all. Yeah. If it changed the color or if it's still the same. I think this is orange, I'm pretty sure. Well, do you want to look first? No. You gotta trust yourself sometimes. Wow, that looks like lava too in the camera. Now we'll check after I did it. <laughs> yep, orange. Wait, let's check. Purple, blue. Okay, cool. Oh, it did change it a little bit. They're just more vibrant. I wonder if this is just going to wash out once I wash my hair, though. It's possible because they're not, like, meant to dye. And I also wonder what would have happened if I would have started with just conditioner as a base or just Arctic Mist Diluter and then added the pigments in if I would get color or if it would be gritty and it wouldn't be straight pigment. I'll have to try that some other time. We got green. Wow, yes. Ooh, the purple kind of looks pinky. 
These are gonna be good. Oh my gosh, it just like amplified the colors. They're all still the same. They did get a little bit thicker. I don't know if you guys can tell. But it looks like the pigment blended in very well. I don't know if it'll just wash right out. This, this one got a lot brighter, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the main camera and we're gonna start dyeing my hair now. So I'm just gonna pull down sections as I go. For instance, I pin this back. I'm gonna dye these pink and then let it down, pull off the next section, dye that, pin it back. I'm not gonna section beforehand. <laughs> no, it hit my camera. My vlogging camera. Here, give it to me and I'll clean it up. This is my opportunity to be in your video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.
Okay guys, I got everything applied. Here it is. It is extremely neon and it looks really good. I'm hoping that it stays and all the color doesn't just wash right out. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few hours because I really want it to soak into my hair. I'm gonna rinse it in ice cold water and hope that the color stays because this is amazing. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like in the black light and then I'm gonna let it process for a few hours and I will see you tomorrow to show you guys the finished look. All right guys, here it is in the black light. It looks so good. And I really hope it stays like this. Or like a pastel version of this. Also, my hands are completely covered. All right, guys, so I am back. It is the next day, and here is how my hair turned out. I'll turn on the black light in a second and show you. When I was rinsing my hair, it was like all pigment coming out. So I don't think this works. It's also not very vibrant. It's more of like pastels, which is fine. I just wanted to like refresh the color. Let me go ahead and turn on the UV light and show you guys what my hair looks like. Okay guys, so here is my hair. I know my eye makeup. Hello, welcome to my life. So here it is. It glows so good. Look at that. And now it matches my eyeshadow. Here's the side. Here's my hair. It looks really good. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, I'm on my vlogging camera. I just wanted to insert this clip and show you my hair when it's down because I feel like before in that clip I showed you, the way I had it styled, you couldn't really see all the colors very well. So here is what the colors look like. Now you can see like every color that's in there. So yeah, I just wanted to include that clip and show you the actual colors. Okay, bye. That is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little experiment. I thought it was a cool video idea. I'm so glad I recorded it. Now we know putting neon pigments in your hair color does not necessarily make your hair color neon. I'm pretty sure the only thing that stuck to my hair was the dye. And I also think it diluted the dye and my hair color would have been more pigmented if I wouldn't have put the pigments in there. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Didn't work. Makes cool eyeshadow though. <laughs> Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that will be in the description down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.